بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآل الطيبين الطاهرين وصحبه المنتجبين It's very important to be respectful to the elders They can be our parents They can be our relatives like uncles, like aunts. They can be people who are not related to us. It doesn't make difference. Of course, with respect to parents, relatives, we have more responsibility. But even if someone is a stranger, just the fact that they are old should make us more respectful to them, more kind with them. We as believers are supposed to be kind to everyone, to be respectful to everyone, but those who are old, especially who are older than us, we have to be very respectful to them. We should think of the services that they have had to the society, to the community, to their family, the ibadat, the worships that they have had, there's a beautiful saying that if you meet a young person, try to think that he is better than you. Why? Because you are aware of your sins, but because he's younger, he might have had less sins. And if you meet a person who is older than you, try to think that he's better than you because he has done more ibadah than you. And if he's equal to you in age, you should still think that he might be better than you because you are aware of your sins and not his sins. In any case, with respect to people, we should always try to consider the chance that they might have done good work, more ibadah, more service, and also now they are in a situation in their life that they may need more attention it's very important if we as community show appreciation to the elders it is also very good for the upbringing of the next generation if the elders are respected because they have lots of experiences they have been through lots of ups and downs if they are respected, this respect would encourage the children, the teenagers, the youths to take advice from them, to refer to them, to consult them. And this would save them from many mistakes. This would also save them errors. And this can also give them keys to success in this world and the hereafter. In my opinion, no community can prosper if the elders of that community are disrespected. And no community can go into decline if they respect their elders, listen to their advice, listen to their wise ideas and opinions. So it's very important that we show love and respect to our elders and at the same time show love and attention to our youngsters. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Laysa minna man lam yarham saqeerana or man la yarham saqeerana wa la yuwaqir kabeerana I don't remember exactly is it law or lamb, but the meaning is the same. Those who don't have rahma, mercy towards our young members of the community, to our children, they are not from us. So with respect to Sagir, young members of the community, there should be rahma. Also, Rasulullah said, 
there should be tawqir means respect and honor for kabirana those who are elders so every person should try to be very kind to the children to the young members of the community and also very respectful and to dignify the elders this is the way to inshallah prosper and succeed in dunya and akhirah alhamdulillah rabbil alamin